This is another putting my money where my mouth is video for the idea that you can solder SMDs using a uh, an inexpensive soldering iron like the one that I bought, which is a, a $15.88 Chinese soldering iron that I bought at Walmart. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder this uh, QFP. And this is the, I can't remember what the part number is. This is the, the Chinese clone of the 328P. So it's a L... LGT328 something. I can't remember what the code is. Somebody put it in the comments there. But that's what this chip is. It's the, the knockoff of the 328P that China made. So I've got it lined up here. And again, you saw me with the liquid flux. This is Kester 186 under the chip, over the legs. It just makes the soldering a lot easier. I need my other poker. There's my other poker right there. Okay, so... First thing I need to do, again, clean the iron, pin the iron. Clean the iron, tin the iron. So I'm going to tin the iron all up there. It's nice and tinned. Shake the solder off of that. All right, so we're good to go there. Now, I'm going to do exactly the same thing that I did with the SOIC. I'm going to position the chip. I'm going to come in with the soldering iron. I'm going to get a little bit of solder on the tip that I'm going to use to tack the pins down. And then I'm going to tack two corners, and then I'll just go ahead and solder it. So I'm just going to line this up here. This side is lined up. That side looks good. That side maybe a little bit over there. Okay, that looks very good to me. So I'm going to come in now. I'm going to grab a little bit of solder. Okay, I've got a little bit of solder. I'm going to tack this pin here and this pin here. All right. So that chip is now tacked down. It's not going to move. I can poke it. It's not going to move. So now we need to get these pins soldered. And there's 32 of them. And I'm anticipating that this is going to be a little more challenging than the SOIC because the pins were a lot bigger there. And it's going to be a heck of a lot uh, more difficult than it is to do this with the HACO with the cupped bevel tip that I use, the 2 millimeter cupped bevel. So... Let's grab some solder here and try to drag solder this side nearest me. Solder bridge, solder bridge. So I got a couple of solder bridges there that I'm going to have to pull out. Got one. I got those ones done. Let's get this solder bridge out of here. I need to clean my iron. Pull that solder bridge out. Come on, solder bridge. Let's go out. Out, damn spot. You know you want to come out for me. All right, I may actually have to go in there with a bit of wick. Let's do the other side. Okay. I'm going to try to be further out on the lands this time, so that the pads rather than the pins, just to see. Now, you see, we got a solder bridge there. It's got a little bit too much solder on the iron, I think, is the problem. So we're going to have to fix that one. Let's try again. A little less solder on the back side here and see if I can get it. Nope, I got another solder bridge. This is more challenging for sure. Most of those are okay. Oh, I got that solder bridge out. Clean my iron. I'll go back in there with a bit of flux and see if I can pull that out with the iron. Be a little bit more solder here. And it's just the first couple of pins seem to really want to create solder bridges. Uh, see, I got a solder bridge there again. I got that one out. So it's soldered, but I've just got these darn solder bridges that are causing me problems. All right, let's go in. Bit of flux here. I've got a clean iron. I'm going to clean my iron. Come in and see if I can pull that solder bridge out. Let's go, solder bridge, out, out. Nope, it is not gonna come out. All right, so I'm gonna grab a bit of braid. Where's my braid? Here's my braid. Go in there with a bit of braid and just pull that solder bridge out of there. This is what you do. You got a little bit of solder bridge in there. Just pull out some braid, go in and get that solder bridge out. So I have a solder bridge 
right here. Let's pull that out of there. There we go. So we've pulled that one out. It looks pretty good there. Let's get this one. Got that one pulled out. Get this one over here on the end pulled out. Just go in there a little touch with the braid. There we go. That one's pulled out. And then here on this side, we'll pull that one out. Come on. Out you go. There we go. All right. So there's no more solder bridges there. And I'm going to go across the tips just to make sure we've got solder everywhere. This side's a little light. Go in there. That one's good and soldered. Go across here. That one's good. Oh, we've got a solder bridge on the end there again. So this, this iron, without the cup that I have on the GW tip, the, the gullwing tip, is a little bit of a challenge in terms of, whoops, I've dislodged my thing there. A little bit of a challenge in terms of solder bridges. So there, whoops, there we go. We'll just go across there again just to tidy it up. All right, so there it is. So that is actually soldered. Um, it looks through the microscope like it is well soldered. I don't see any solder bridges. All of the pins are soldered. So obviously it is doable. Um, and I, I just used the, the Chinese soldering iron with the Chinese solder, a little bit of liquid flux, which I suggest everybody buy, and a little bit of braid just to clean up the mess. I would guess that with a little bit of practice, I would be able to figure out how to drag solder with this tip without laying down so much solder. The nice thing about the cup, if I can pull it down here and show it to you, so... This, this is the Chinese tip here. This is the, the uh, cup. And you can see that it's hollow on the inside there, inside that tip. And what that does is that holds the solder. So when I drag across here, when I drag across here, it's holding the solder in so it doesn't just all blob out. Whereas with this one, there's a blob of solder on and as soon as I touch it down, the solder climbs into the pins. But you can see that that looks pretty good. Um, and I am, when I post this on Lemmy, I will take a couple of close-up pictures, one of this and one of the Soic, once they're cleaned up, just to let you see what they look like. But again, what I'm trying to show here is that this can be done with inexpensive equipment. And so obviously we can. Um, at some point, I guess I should go on and make a video of me trying to solder something like uh, an SOT23 transistor or an 0805 resistor or capacitor, but obviously this is doable. And that was the point of this video, is that you can solder these SMD components using basic equipment.